a question for you. If I said 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, do you know what that means? That's right. Tabata time, the T word. <laughs> so today I'm going to walk you guys through a four minute cardio Tabata. And it's just like I said, 20 seconds of work with the exercise and then 10 seconds of rest in transition to the next one. So today we're going to do four different exercises, two times each. So eight rounds total. Don't worry, I'll keep track for you. First, I just want to walk you through the exercises. So before we get started, make sure you did a quick warm up if you need to. Hop into some workout clothes, clear out some space. You won't need any equipment, just yourself. So the four exercises that we're going to do, the first one is going to be squat jacks. So the highest level is going to be coming all the way down, jumping all the way up. You have the option if your knees bother you or if you're pregnant, you can just sidestep with still raising the arms. Second exercise is going to be switch low lunges. So the goal here would be to come into a low lunge and then alternate sides. You can always step it back and step it to the front if you need a lower impact option. Third exercise, rotating squat jumps. So the squat is in the middle and then we rotate. So it looks like this. Squat down, jump the feet to the side, keep the torso towards the front, get in the rotation in the obliques. Okay, and if you need to, you can always just side step to a squat or just hold it in the middle and do air squats with body weight. Last exercise, we're coming down to the ground. So this one works a little bit of the core, but it's still cardio. I call them crab toe taps. So you come up to a crab position, and then you just alternate, tap in the toes. The quicker you go, the more your heart rate gets up. The slower you go, the lower impact. So those are the four moves. I'm gonna get the timer going. I just use an app on my phone. I think it's called, let me see what it's called. Interval timer, so it's called, it's free. I already set it up for 20 second work intervals, 10 seconds of rest, and then we're gonna do it eight times. So four minutes between now and when we're done. Ready guys? We got 10 seconds of rest, Again, that first exercise is gonna be the squat jumping jack. So pick your level, I'll show them both. And go, squat down, jump up. So again, this is the higher level. If you need to, you can always step. Step, step, almost there. Okay, you got five seconds to go. And rest. So we're moving into that second exercise, the low lunges, switching. So you got two seconds and go. Switch, switch. Again, working the core, but still getting cardio in here. And again, if you need to step, that's always an option too. Find what works for you. This is your workout. Three, two, one. Rest. Good job. All right, moving on to number three, squat jumps with the rotation. Pick your option. Here we go. And work. Pop up. Nice soft knees on the jump. Feel those obliques working. If you're not panting like me, not challenging yourself and rest. Okay, bring it down to the ground. We got crab, toe taps. Three, two, one, go. Tap it up, tap it up. So we're keeping our booty lifted off the ground here. Feeling the crunch in the abs. So you drive that foot up. Two, one, rest. Okay, back to the beginning. We got one more time through of each exercise. That's it. Squat jacks to start. And go. In through the nose. 
Out through the mouth. Almost there. You got six seconds. Rest. All right, switch low lunges here. Remember, this is the last time we're doing each of these. Give it all you got. And go. Maybe you start out with one, and then maybe you switch to lower impact. I want you to try to challenge yourself however that looks for you. And rest. Okay, two to go. That's it. Keep moving if you need to. We got alternating squat jumps with the rotation. Here we go. Down, pop up, pop up. Soft knees, drop the belly in at the top. Feel those quads working. Three seconds. And rest. Good job. Bring it down to the ground. Last one. Crab toe taps. And go. So not every cardio move needs to be running or jumping. You can get creative. Five seconds, and then we're done. Rest! Okay, and that was one full to body, you guys. So you should be a little out of breath like I am. Plus, I was talking. <laughs> um, you should be breaking a sweat. So, when do you use Tabatas? Well, like I said, it can be a great cardio option. You can always do strength moves with weights instead of cardio moves like we did today. And they're a great finisher for a strength workout. So maybe you just did leg day and you do one or two Tabatas to finish, or maybe you just want to do a Tabata workout. So what we just did was one Tabata. So then maybe you would pick four or two other exercises that you filter between for another four minute Tabata. And then you could do a third and a fourth Tabata. So this is just an example of how to do one. I went through it with you together and now you guys can get creative and pick your own exercises and do more. Thanks for joining me today, you guys, for more fitness, workout, lifestyle content. You can subscribe to my channel, Aubrey Sawyer, right here on YouTube to catch the next video. See you guys next time.